that was actually promoted from the reserve list. Theresa Jolly and uh, Gayatri Gopichand Pulela of India. Let's welcome the players. First up, let's hear it for the pair from China, Zhang Chuxian and Zheng Yu! unseeded finalists tomorrow in the women's doubles final. Leg in, there. It's a bit sorry, she. So, this is the first it's meeting sorry, between she. these two pairs, and that she, is quite understandable because Chang Shu Xian and Cheng Wu only formed their partnership last week at the German Super 300 event. They actually reached the semi-final stage and as far as the Indian pair are concerned, promoted from the reserve list, Theresa Jolly and Gayatri Gopichan Pulela, they only formed their partnership at the Polish International Series event last year. That was in September. They actually reached the final in their first ever tournament together. That was a sensational start, but nothing's been as sensational as their progress this week in their very first All England Championships. So as far as the Chinese pair are concerned, Chang Xuxian is 22 years of age, born in Lushou in southeast Sichuan province. And Lushou is where we had the Super Series finals of 2000. And 11. Pay no attention to their world ranking whatsoever because, as I was telling you, this is only their second tournament together. So you really need 10 tournaments to get anywhere near a realistic ranking. Cheng Wu turned 26 last month. She's from Shandong province on the east coast of China. And when we look at their path through to the semi final, well, they've been giant killers too. The Chinese pair in the first round, they beat the number four seeds, the 2020 winners and three-time finalists, Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota. An hour and 28 minutes for that encounter. Then they beat Chloe Birch and Jess Pugh from England. Quarter final against the number eight seeds, Kitty Harakun and Prajongjai. That was an hour and 12 minutes. So three hours and 18 minutes for their three matches to get to today's semi-final. So to Theresa Jolly, who's only 18 years of age, and she's from Kerala. And they went up to a career high after their recent performances up 11 places. In fact, after the German Open, up to 46. Uh, but they still don't have nine tournaments, uh, ten tournaments to get a realistic ranking. So Gayatri Gopichan Pulala, daughter of All England men's singles champion in 2001, Pulala Gopichan. 
Well, you can see their matches, the Ansad sisters, first of all. They saved two match points in the second game there before winning the second 22-20. Second round against number six seeds, the Olympic champions. Sadly, the Olympic champions had to retire. Rahayu re-injured a calf muscle. And the quarterfinal against the number two seeds, the World Championship silver medalists, Lee Sohee and Shin Siang Chan. They saved match points in that one as well in the second game. Came from 18-20 down before winning 21-15 in the deciding game. So to say they've had a giant killing run in these All England Championships is an understatement. So our umpire from Korea, Wam Young, and Gavin Smith from England is the service judge. Yeah, wonderful to have Ladies the fans back this year. On my right, Teresa Jolie and Gayatri Kopichand, Parala, India. And on my left, Jan Su Xian, Chong Yu, China. Teresa Jolie, two stop to Zhang Yu. Level play. So the Indian combination, far side of the court, Teresa Jolie oh. and Gayatri Gopichan Pulala. One lock. Promoted from the reserve list, and they find themselves in the All England semi final. Steen, that the Indian combination are making history today because I believe that they are the first ever doubles pair across any of the doubles disciplines from India to make an All England semi final. Wow. Yeah, um, to me, they are the biggest surprise in this tournament. There's been a fair share of um, surprises. But that appear from the reserve list is beating both oh, first the Hemsard uh, sisters and, um, and a little bit lucky against the Olympic champions, but then beating Li and Shin, that, that's just unbelievable. Yeah, fabulous result. And there's been no, I mean, it's not like there has been good results here and there building up to this that sort of gave it away that they were about to go into the All England semi-final. No. So they did do well at the beginning of the year. They won the Odisha Super 100 event. They reached the final of the Saeed Modi 300 event. But I hadn't really seen them play too much. I think we watched them in uh, Vanta in the Sudaman Cup. the Uber Cup, but I certainly saw them in Europe last autumn. I think the Odisha Open there, I, I checked and uh, I saw they won the tournament, but uh, I think the tournament was not particularly strong. No. They conceded 56 points throughout the tournament wow. to win what? that title, yeah. so... Um, Lacked a little bit of uh, depth, perhaps. Yeah, no, that's fair comment. But we've, uh, that's right, we saw them in, was it the Sudirman Cup or, or Uber Cup? 
And also uh, it was certainly in Europe. I, I, I'm so sure I saw them in the Uber Cup, but I, I might have well seen, seen them in the Sudamon Cup as well. Two, three. I saw a little bit of um, their match against the Koreans and uh, very, very strong, the uh, preferred backcourt player there, Teresa Jolly. That's great drive defence. Oh, it's just long. Oh, there. Going to ask Hawkeye to have a look at that. Turned it, called it out. Yes, way out. It's a wasted challenge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Well, Sorry, Steen, you say it's incredible that a pair from the reserve list. I was checking the record books this morning Four, for the last two. qualifiers or pair promoted from the reserve list since the World Tour uh, came into existence. And you only have to go back eight years. Danish pair? No. No. 2014 qualifiers, Ma Jin and Tang Guan <laughs> yeah. Two wonderful players, but because their ranking wasn't high enough as a pair, uh -huh. they had to come <laughs> through the qualifying. It actually Seven happened tomorrow. the year before that as well, when Chen Shu and Xiao oh. Yunlei had to qualify. Yeah, that's, um, that's some more renowned names in, yes. in those four players there. So jolly. Yeah, she's really hunting the shuttle. She's been very, very positive, is Jolly. That's fun. Yeah. That's fun. So we have at least three, maybe even more, young women's doubles coming up that are uh, that are fun watching. We have um, Tanantina from uh, Malaysia. We have uh, this pair here, and then we have uh, ones that are already waiting in the uh, final tomorrow. That's Yama and Cheetah. Exactly. like to play India in Sudirman Cup at the moment. No. I love me playing. Seven, five. Well, the Indian pair are absolutely taking the match to their opponents. There's no holding back. There's no sign of nerves. Of course, the pressure is on the Chinese combination. They're expected to win this. Oh. Six, seven.
smash. Good placement. Apparently they forgot to tell Theresa Jolly that she's playing up against the drift and is supposed to have a tough time putting it away, especially in women's double. She doesn't really care. change of pace from Cheng Wu. Seven, eight. Tarjan Ming is looking a little bit nervous at the moment. It's always a challenge to play combination for the first time you don't really know what what they're gonna what they're gonna throw at you so the first coaching here is gonna be really important well I tell you one thing that's going to be a problem for the Chinese pair Jungu's serve because yeah. she serves forehand which is very unusual in the doubles discipline and she's lost pretty much all confidence on her low serve and is flicking the whole time and when she flicks to Teresa Jolly Seven. it's getting thumped yeah. just 18 years of age extraordinary Good smash. If I were the uh, Chinese pair now, I would direct Eight. every single Eight. smash at um, Gayatri. Olela. She seems a bit weaker in the defense than her partner. So I used to play the singles. So the mid game interval with a three point advantage. Jolly and Pulela. Well, I think we have new stars of the women's doubles game. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Well, it looks to me as if Chen Shuxian has got a little bit of a cold. Suggesting hit at Pulela. Oh, that's well taken. And that's the first time, I think, in the match so far that the Chinese pair has really intercepted and dominated the front of the court. Yeah, it's not um, the preferred position of uh, Jan Yu. Oh, 
Good job, Shady. Get to that formation with um, Zhang Yu at the back court and uh, Zhang Xu Shen at the front. They should be able to power their way through uh, the two Chinese players, especially on this near side of the court. And they play with that um, little drifter. Is that's a good low serve. Chen Wu, the oldest player on court, just turned 26 and showing her experience there. Four of the five points since the game interval to the Chinese combination. Change of angle from Chen Wu on her attacking play. Play on. of sales got what it deserved and that just exemplifying what i was talking about really struggling on her low serve so loose to Teresa Jolly. Attack the drive defense 15, working 40. well. A 
back into the lead since for the first time since they led 4-3. Watching this lady, Teresa Jolly, the more impressed I am. She's the best player on court, in she my is. opinion. She is, and she's only 18 years of age. But what also has impressed me is her willingness to attack, her willingness to turn defence back into attack with drive defences apparently uh, challenging uh, Yamaguchi for the worst <laughs> serve ever I, I mean it still belongs to Yamaguchi but um, <laughs> this was close <laughs> yeah but she, I mean um, there's real pace and uh, urgency over her game yeah it's so nice to see exactly <laughs> and, I mean given the short Someone period Okay, actually, Poyela has concentrated on women's doubles. I mean, there's a lot to um, to build on. Also, uh, get stronger, get better in the defense, and um, and uh, stuff like that. So there's the hand signal. Does that mean a flick? No. a lovely placement Eight, of the final shot from Chang Shu Xian. Three point advantage now, and three points away from the opening game for this Chinese combination. of the last seven points to the Chinese pair. Point opportunities to Chang Shuan and Cheng Wu. Nicely done. Nice way to save first game point. Super return. Game. Opening game in First favor game of the Chinese Chang combination Chang, Chang, Chang Shu Xian and Cheng Wu. 21 17 confirms the umpire. But a very, very good opening game 
in 22 minutes. Seconds, 20 seconds. Second game, Lobor play. So the two unseeded pairs battling for a place in the All England final. First game to Chen Shu Xian and Shang Yu from China. Works. The more I'm watching this young Indian pair, the more excited I am by their future prospects. Both still teenagers. Sudiman Cup and uh, Yuba Cup. Long. We saw a couple of other. I don't know exactly how young. I think one of them was also 18, and the other one, Ritupana Panda and uh, Tanisha Castro, they also uh, played um, a nice women's double. It wasn't something that I expected could go to the semi final of the um, All England immediately, but definitely something to build on. So. Thinking about that, and they also have uh, Punapa and uh, Sikureti, so they're starting to have a healthy um, yes. training environment if they um, practice together, which I'm, I, I, I don't know whether they uh, practice in the same academy. Jolly to um, also be able to rotate, so it's not a set formation with Jolly at the back court and uh, and Polena at the net, but they also can rotate and uh, score that way. I'm just trying to think, Steve, whether a player who's won the All England in the Open era as Goffey Chand managed to do Gayatri's uh, father. Yeah. Uh, can you think of any yeah. child that uh, has emulated a parent and won the All England in the Open era? 
No, it's, no, it's I, difficult. Um, I know Sung Ji Hyung came close. She was semi-finalist a couple of times. Her mother won the, yeah. the women's singles title. And Book was in the semi-final of women's doubles. The uh, daughter Rilla. of uh, Lena Coppen. That's right. Yep. Rilla. I don't know about Tommy Sugiato. But there's one thing that's certain, that is that um, Kubitschan, he's got to, he's got to hit some smashes. He's got to feed um, the defensive practice of uh, his daughter there, because yes. uh, if they um, get a little bit more solid, or if she gets a little bit more solid in defense, that will help the pairing uh, tremendously. So, could also be a lot of feeding, but it, I think probably Kubitschan hits it a bit better. Yeah. Missed it. Well, she is very experienced, is Chang Wu. Been in finals of international women's doubles tournaments with three different partners. win this semi-final that will be four different partners yeah she's, she's sort of the um, the chinese counterpart to uh, kim soo young from uh, korea playing with uh, kim hong young who mm. also played with an awful lot i, I think it was uh, six different partners in nine months or so yeah that's right i, I can't remember the exact uh, yeah. number but it was an awful lot of um, partner changes there were, but finally found something that worked with Kong Hee Yong. Well, if, you, if you're an Indian fan, you shouldn't be alarmed at uh, Jolly and Pulela losing the opening game because they lost the opening game of their three previous matches and obviously yeah. went on to win. That also says something about um, the ability... In my opinion, it says something about um, a tactical awareness that they must be able to um, adjust their game. And I can tell you also that uh, in Germany, uh, Chen Yu and Wang Shusheng, they were uh, ahead for the majority of the um, first two games in the semifinal against the Stoyer sisters. I think they had an 18 16 lead or so in the uh, second game, having won the first game but eventually ended up losing it. So it was a much tougher match. Yeah. Much longer, much more physical. So well, maybe that was what um, eventually made the difference. Uh, uh, this has not been that physical. It's been actually a very enjoyable uh, attacking match. Yeah. Possibly the most exciting player I've seen in World Badminton uh, in recent times. I, I, I still think that um, some of the young ones that um, 
I mentioned earlier is uh, also um, very interesting, but it's a little bit uh, uh, unexpected. Yeah, that, uh, what that. I'm really liking is her style. Yeah. Her attacking, aggressive style. There's a lot of... Um, if I sort of... Um, if I take my glasses off and can't really see the name of the uh, on the back, um, I could be made to believe it was the Olympic gold medalist from Indonesia, Apriyanya Hayo. Yeah. Seven. Similar style. here in the second game where um, the Chinese pair is hitting up against the drift. Oh, good return. So so that so yeah. Seven, no, it wasn't eight. such a bad serve and the way that Chen Wu attacked that was absolutely superb. the body uh, uh, good placement because she was waiting with her forehand defense but um, placed it a little bit into the body A shot from Gayatri. Question from the Indian pair was did it touch her before it landed out? Yes, they're not trying to challenge. Yes, they're not trying to challenge. It's a question of whether that did, got deflected by touching her. Yonghai would have very little chance of seeing it. Mm, I think it may have done. 
very, very difficult to tell. Even in slow, and yes. he's sitting in a position where the body would be blocking his uh, view. So, uh, of course, can't call anything, and uh, it was difficult to see even in, yeah. in the replay. Yeah. these runners very good pace uh, but it is the Chinese pair who have the one point advantage at the mid game interval having already won the opening game Steen, I'm wondering what uh, the Danish pair of Ulithin Ibsen and my Sorov might be thinking right now because, of course, the what Indian pair took their place in the draw. Yeah. Uh, I think they want to get some of the prize money. <laughs> and then um, hope that uh, Ulithin Ibsen quickly uh, recovers from uh, her injury, I'm not really sure what it is, but um, I know she's been out also of the um, team matches in the Danish league. Eleven ten. Play. Smashes on Gaia Tree, and the defense was broken down. One, two, three. And I think um, the um, quick fix, the long term fix is to get stronger in the forearm, and the quick fix is to uh, step forward and um, play a more aggressive defense. But that requires that both her and her partner lift a bit more flat. We have some uh, possibilities in uh, playing back flat with uh, your opponent. Yeah. Oh, that's great Seven anticipation three. from Gaia Tree. Eleven, From both of the Indian players now. Show some good awareness that um, rush we just saw from uh, Pulela here because it's not it's not often we see a former singles player go directly in and take the net player role in the double. No, that's a very good point. <laughs> Oh, 
perfect return. Yeah. Lovely play by both the Indian players. That makes me think that rally there, if, if they step a little bit forward, and um, then I think they can challenge in the flat game as well. In this match. Service error. Well, nice idea 14, again. 14. Uh, perhaps a little bit too greedy. Yeah, but with a young developing player, I'd rather <laughs> see them go for those and, and make the occasional error because, yeah. you know, in time she will become more consistent in making that one actually work. Yeah. And if you discourage that sort of adventurous play. I think that will be to her detriment. So, yeah, it was almost a smash from uh, Zhang Yu. 16, 14. Sometimes experience in augmented reality the possibility of, of recreating a match, and then we could take the seed in the you could be the umpire, you and I could be <laughs> the uh, service judge and really be um, 16, sharp and alert. And we could see it all in uh, some sort of 3D slow motion. Point cushion at this stage, I think, is putting the Chinese pair in a very strong position to be competing in the final tomorrow. is unsighted it looked as if it was good but I think the umpire is going to ask for Hawkeye to adjudicate for us challenge on site yeah. yeah so challenge unsighted so neither pair are going to lose a challenge here and it was plumb on the line It is 18-14. It's a bit amongst the new exciting women's doubles players. We should also mention Zhang Shuxian. A little bit older than um, the two Indians, but still a youngster. She's done well in these two tournaments, German and all England. She's stepped into the spotlight, but I don't see her uh, quite as exciting in her style of play as, and perhaps not having the adventurous, you know, 
we've been talking about women's doubles has been, you know, so much about the defence and solid defences and long, long rallies. We're yeah. seeing really dynamic, exciting 16, women's doubles here. 18. And that's what excites me watching it. That's correct. That's correct. So Jolly wanted to change the shuttle. The Chinese pair said no. at the backcourt, they need to step forward, Jolly and uh, Pulela. Then they uh, can look for the chances. They become too passive in this side-to-side um, -side maneuver here. So four match point opportunities for the Chinese pair. time of asking and Chang Chu Xi'an and Sheng Wu are through to the All England final beating through Sir Jolly and Gayatri Gopichan Pulela in two straight games 21-17-21-16 a margin of their victory 50 minutes in total to book their place in tomorrow's final. So the fairy tale for the pair promoted from the reserve list, Jolly and Pulela. Their fairy tale comes to an end, but my goodness, they've had a tournament to remember. And they have announced their arrival on the world stage as one of the most exciting prospects in women's doubles that I think that I have seen for quite some time. This is the final rally. The first match point opportunity, Julie converted just inside the back line. And the victory to Chen Shu Xian and Cheng Wu. 21 17, 21 16.
So after that exciting attacking women's doubles, we now turn our attention to mixed doubles, and I'm pretty certain this will be exciting and attacking play also. It's a repeat of the Olympic final, Wang Ilu and Huang Dongping, the number three seeds.